Hey guys, Dan here. I want to give you a little tip on fishing link hod deep water. Uh, we just got back from fishing out of Emeryville. And I was on the Sea Wolf and uh, the New Huck Finn. And on the Sea Wolf trip, we got in that deeper water fishing uh, 400 feet for the link hod. And we found lots of link hod, but I learned a very valuable lesson, uh, one that I forgot about over the years. And that's when you're targeting link cod, do not use a dropper loop rig. Just use a three-way swivel or some sort of rig so that your line's coming straight off your main line and attached to the bucktail. Because what I was finding out, it happened to me twice, I used a um, single dropper loop rig using a one pound sinker on the bottom, a bucktail with a piece of bait on there, and the lings were hitting it but because I had the dropper loop, they're swallowing the bucktail and they were cutting right through the line. So it's really important that when you're rigging for this type of fishing, go like maybe a three-way swivel. So you have your sinker on the bottom, one pound sinker, piece of 40 pound mono or 50 pound mono, even for the leader, make it harder for the fish to bite and then have your bucktail on there, either by itself with a piece of squid, whole squid or a single tail grub I did both techniques and got bit really good with the lean cod, but because I had that dropper loop rig on there, they bit right through it, swallowed the bucktail. So that's why you want to stay away from the dropper loop rig and go with that three-way rig. The other thing that was really helpful too was using electric reel. I know we kind of frowned on these years ago, but I'm telling you when you're fishing 500 feet or even deeper, having an electric reel is really convenient and nice. And um, I'm glad I have one now. Works out really, really good. All right, I just wanted to give you that little tip and also re remind you that whenever you're out there in the water, bring your boomerang tool. These work really good. And I tell you, these things have helped me so much in rigging up. I haven't had a tool ever that cuts spectra as well as this does. And for rigging up, makes it nice and convenient. With the retractor, I keep it on the outside of my tackle box and uh, makes it nice and convenient. All right, don't forget to subscribe right here to my YouTube channel and join me every Tuesday and Thursday night right here on YouTube for YouTube Live. Thanks, everybody. Talk to you soon.